This is going to be a tutorial, a program for tutorial for um, Microsoft Visual Basic. So, wait, is it in there? Yeah, it is. You're going to want to start up Visual Basic. I will put a download link in the description. This is uh, the 2010 edition. It's free. So you open it up. And what you're going to want to do is here, it says New Project. You're going to want to click that, and then you'll get um, some different uh, kinds of templates. Um, YPF, console, class, library, browser application, etc. Um, we want Windows Forms application, so you click this. Whatever thing you want, I'm going to put um, YouTube. And you want it, and then click OK. It's going to load some files. And here you are. You're going to then see that it comes up with a just a square box. So resize this box to however um, big you want it. I'm going to put it uh, that big and rename it to whatever you want within the um, properties window where it says text when I go um, row sir today we're just going to make a um, simple uh, web browser so what you're going to want to do is put um, in your toolbox on the buttons put go forward back home reload stop so one two yeah six buttons put them up here and put one over there so with these I'm going to rename them or actually no, let's put all the things on here first. Um, then what you're going to want to do is you can either do a, um, I think it's a combo box. Yeah, combo box. Um, so you can put different kinds of um, links in it. Like if you're making uh, a web browser for um, somebody and you want some of like most popular links right now, like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, that kind of thing, you can put that. I'm just going to put a text box. So go down and find text box and drag it onto the form. And then you're going to want to go down and find web browser. And then you put that on there. Resize this. Oh. Another good thing also is to click that go to prop the properties window. Um uh, anchor, where it says anchor, you go on top, left, you want them all. And that, well, where to go? Uh, that's so if you resize the window, it doesn't screw it up. Resize the, um, web browser control to whatever you want. And you can even, if you want to set like a home page, like Google, you can put it in the URL section. And I'm actually going to do that right now. Um, H HTTP and enter. And what that will do is that when you debug it, it will automatically go to Google. So for our buttons, you're going to rename the buttons to back. Oh, another thing also is that if you put an and sign in front of everything, we'll put that little um, um, underline underneath the first letter. See the little underline there? Um, if I spell something wrong, no, nah, who cares? <laughs> um, this is just a quick, simple video. Jesus, I cannot type today. Um, uh, 
stop stop it's not an eon stop <laughs> Mode. Okay, and then button six, align it. Whoa, oops, did not want to do that. Delete. Um, was it that one? It was this one? Yeah, it's aligned, I think. Okay. Making web browsers is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And you can then add more functionality. Um, and then with the text box, you're going to want to resize it to however, however long you want. And then now what you're going to want to do is click, double click the go button on here, and you'll come up with this. What you're going to want to type is web browser web browser one it normally does it for you dot navigate parentheses text box one dot text another parentheses this does is it basically when you click the button it adds a um or when you click the button, it tells the web browser to navigate to the um, text in the text box. That's simple enough. Um, then the back button, you're going to want to do web browser one dot go back. What that does is it tells it to go back. And then you just keep doing this for all the buttons. Um, browser one dot is it the forward one? Yeah, go forward. Uh, web browser one dot go oh, go home. Web browser one. Dot. Um, what one is this? Stop. Yeah, it's not go. It's just stop. Reload. Web browser one. Dot. Re it's, it's refresh, not reload. So web browser one. Dot refresh. Um, and there you go. It's that easy. So I'll just explain what what this do, what this loop of code does or not loop, but that's the main handler for the um the uh, what do you call it web browser so that it navigates to the page. Um, this just tells the web browser go back, go forward, then web browser go home, web browser stop loading the page, and web browser refresh the page. And if you want to get into the more advanced things, um, message me and I can make a video on how. Um, you can add a bookmarking function, um, tabbed function, you can add um, all sorts of really neat stuff. You can add functionality for um, plugins like uh, Flash and um, Adobe and stuff like that. So once you've done this, if you want to test it, you're going to want to hit the button up here, which is start debugging, or you can press F5. So you click that, and there you have it. Load, or you can do that. Uh, www.youtube.com And you can't press enter to do it, unless you've added functionality for the enter button on here, or for this to trigger this when you hit enter. So you get go, and there's YouTube. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, Oh crap, I should have showed you something else. Um, when you debug, you're going to get this window, and it will show you um, any errors, any warnings, or messages. And it will also change its view to this, where you 
can change stuff, I think, while it's debugging. And also, if there's any acceptations, like any errors, it will um, show up and tell you. Bring this back up here and exit. So once you're done your application, what you're going to want to do is if you have a icon for it, you can go to, um, I think it's, you click, ah, yeah, you click just browser and go down to the properties where it says icon and then you hit the little dots and you have to find a ICO file. It's whatever icon file you want. Um, do, 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 do. Properties, and you can also uh, figure out an installation icon there, and sorry about that. Um, parents came home and they're making a lot of noise, so I ended it. Um, as I was doing, you can go down to actually first assembly information. Um, this you can change the inst this is for the installation when you install the program. Um, title, description, company, product, copyright, trademark, assembly version, GUID, etc. etc. Um, how it compiles Hello. Thank you. Security. Um, my extensions, so you can like add an ex file extension associated with that um, that the program signing um, settings, uh, stuff like that. Publish. Um, this is how you can change the. Oh, sorry, muted microphone. So you can change the um, version of the um, program, and it, you can either hit automatically increment reversion with each publish. Um, and then you can also change it. The application is available online only, or it's f launchable from the start menu. So with this, you can also change the uh, application files, the installation folder, URL, updates. You can make it so it um, can check for updates and options. So with this, you want to put also the publisher name, suite name, support URL, error URL, Deployment web create desktop shortcut by default. Um, yeah, then to um, publish it, I'm gonna hit publish. Publish wizard. You can either publish it to an FTP server, a file share, a disk path, or a website. I'm just gonna do my desktop. So file system desktop. Okay, open. Next. Um, how will users install this application from a website, from a UNC path or file share, or from a CD ROM or DVD ROM? You're probably going to want to do this one, the CD ROM. Next, um, either check for updates or not. I'm going to hit no. Next, and then finish. What's going to do is it's going to build your project. And open the folder that it was in. Where is it? Uh, here's all the um, files, application files, setup, new and application manifest. So, setup. You just to install it, you click setup. You can probably change that icon too if you wanted to. And then you can install it or not. I'm not going to install it, so don't install. So that's um, just a simple tutorial on Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. So if you have any questions or recommendations or for future um, videos on uh, what do you call it software, like if you want a tutorial on like Photoshop or because I have lots of programs, um, Photoshop, 3ds Max, that kind of thing, just message me and I'll I'll do one. So thank you for watching.